Hi girls! So today I'm doing a haul video because I got a couple of makeup items and just some random pieces. So I'm gonna share them with you. I'm gonna start off with a couple of drugstore items. I got the Rimmel Eyeliner in 030 Natural, a retractable one. So it's basically just your simple natural lip colored eyeliner. Eyeliner, what I'm talking about, lip liner, sorry. Uh, the second item I got is the Bourjois 3D Effect Lip Gloss and I wanted it for a while since I saw Tanya Burke using this color. Um, it's like a berry color, a dark pink color with some blue and like silver shimmering particles and the color is uh, 08 from Was Tonic. These lip glosses, hands down, are the best lip glosses. The staying power, the scent, the texture, everything is just what a lip gloss should be like. And then I also got this uh, mascara volumizer by Bourjois also. Since I'm pretty sure you guys all know who Tanya Burr is if you're watching Pixie 2. She's a gorgeous girl and makeup artist and she's she's in love with this mascara at the moment she she has been using this in quite a few of her videos and sorry just, I didn't open it yet and she just loves this mascara so I thought why not to try it it's the you know the two-step mascara one is like uh, for step one is for a daytime look or like separated defined lashes a thin brush like this and the other one is volumizing your lashes like a huge wand it's a bit gloopy so the thing is that Tani said it kind of sticks your lashes together and clumps them which I don't particularly like I like more defined natural looking lashes but I'll give it a go I'll try and see if I like it or not then I got my favorite Essie nail polish since, since it was 40% off. It's exotic Liras. Probably cannot even see that. And I have it on my nails today. I swear every time I wear this nail polish I get so many compliments. My boyfriend has to compliment my nails every time that I wear this color. It's, it's surprising but I love it also. It's my second bottle and it's just a gorgeous. It's like a dark raspberry color very very beautiful it's almost red but not red more pink color I love it okay now I'm gonna move on to some high-end product I'm gonna start with this one I got the white telomere aqua foundation I know I'm so late with this everybody has it already but I've read pro I watched probably every single review out there on YouTube on this foundation and I thought, okay, this is the time I, sh I should get it. It's My color is uh, 10, B10, Beige Pastel. Uh, BR is like rose with rose undertones and B is with yellow undertones. So the foundation looks like this. It looks like it's a small bottle, but it's not. It's 30 ml, just the same size as my Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation. And I love the packaging, it's so compact, perfect for traveling and I've already used it two times. I have it on today, you cannot see because I'm all washed out. But I have to say that I found my holy grail foundation. <laughs> Seriously, it puts all the other foundations to shame. There's, I haven't tried anything better than this. It's, it's simply, it blew me off when I applied it. It's water-based foundation, so you shake it a lot, probably all know that. And it looks just like second skin, I swear to you. I Even I took the mirror and was looking close to myself and I could not see foundation on my skin. That's how, how it melts into the skin. I don't know, it's just the most natural looking thing and you can touch your skin it does not feel like you have foundation on so you know sometimes when I wear my Bourjois foundation and then powder with my Chanel powder 
And my boyfriend is, well, he comes to me like close face to face, you know, in the bright daylight. And of course he can see the foundation, the powder, because, you know, in the bright light it's quite obvious. And he says, baby, you, you are wearing too much like makeup. He doesn't like the look of makeup on the skin. He prefers the more natural look. And I said, no, I'm not wearing much like makeup at all. It's just foundation powder. That's it. But I swear, when I will wear this, he will not be able to tell I have foundation on him. He'll think I have nothing on when I actually have. Because it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but it has a better coverage than tinted moisturizer would. Wow, it's just the best foundation ever. I'm probably gonna do a fuller in-depth review on it then. Okay, now I wanted the Illusion d'Ombre eyeshadows for quite a long time since they came out and first of all I wanted to get Epaton, the kind of greenish silvery shade then I watched Hannah on YouTube uh, her favorites video I guess it was and she said that every time she wore the Illusion the taupey purplish shade um, her boyfriend complimented her and it looked gorgeous so I thought okay I'm gonna get Illusoire my you know I made up my mind and then Hannah did a tutorial using Ebloui the kind of burgundy brownish brownish burgundy shade and I thought oh my god it looks so beautiful Hannah you looked gorgeous with this makeup on so at first, you know, when I saw them the first time, I didn't even care about the blue. I thought it's not for me, it's too dark. And then after her tutorial, I went and swatched it on my hand and I was like, oh my goodness. This is the shade that I'm gonna get. It's, And without further ado, I just got it. So, looks like this comes with a like, mini brush, which I haven't opened yet. So the brush looks like this, but I think it's best to use it with fingers as many girls do, or I'm gonna try both actually. So here's the packaging and the color is 86 Ebloui. And of course you won't be able to see how gorgeous it is on camera, it's just that brownish burgundy color with gold shimmer, it's just fantastic. So. I'm gonna try to swatch it for you, but it won't make any justice. And the texture of this, these are like, they're like cream, gel cream, bouncy mousse, kind of very, very interesting formula. And I'm gonna do proper swatches on my blog. And I just love Peter Phillips for coming up with such incredible makeup ideas, new textures, this is fantastic. I'm probably gonna do a tutorial using this, tell me guys would you like to see it or not. Then from the same uh, Illusion d'Ombre collection I got the nail polish, so this is 529 graphite, it's a gorgeous metallic color it's like green and silver it, it's not really green it looks like sil silver but it has that greenish undertone to it it looks so fantastic like no other polish I've seen you know it's it's the Chanel thing they come out with the most unique shades that no other other brand has to be honest, I really don't like their nail polishes because they chip the other day or maximum they last like two days. So for that I hate the nail polishes but the thing that makes me love them is the uniqueness of their colors. You, you will never find something like this. I mean you can find dupes but they will not be as Chanel nail polishes. They're really different so you know. I'll just apply the next day chips, okay, I'll take it off, but I'll feel like fabulous that one day wearing Chanel nail polish. And then I'm watching 
uh, Alex from HRH collection on YouTube. She's a fantastic girl with a beautiful style and she's just really beautiful. And she did an outfit of the day video wearing that like silky leopard print blouse from Zara which I wanna get also. And she wore this Yves Saint Laurent lipstick and she actually inspired me to get it because I thought wow this lipstick is gorgeous, I need it. It's from the new Yves Saint Laurent Volupte Sheer Candy line and it's a glossy balm so basically it's like a, like a lip balm with a color because the texture of those is not like a lipstick it's more like a balm and they have just six, six shades and I got the darkest one number five and the packaging is simply fantastic it's silver with burgundy here and like gold initials and it looks like this so it's a very dark vampy color but what I like about it it's just not it's because it's not a full on like wampy color you can wear it during daytime and I'm actually gonna apply it for you guys I don't have any mirror feels amazing on the lips so incredibly moisturizing I just want to put it on and on and it smells just like mango candy I know the jelly candy is like a mango candy smells so good and honestly I love high-end lipsticks because no like I think no drugstore lipstick can compare because they all tend to be drying and I've never come across a high-end lipstick that was drying and wow I just love the texture of this so it's number five sheer candy lipstick and as I said you can wear it during daytime because it's not a strong vamp lip it's still glossier more sheer but deep color and moving on to another things that I got I got today this necklace from Lindex. It's a brushed silver necklace with this kind of huge crystal. And it is a last year's, I think, Christmas collection. Of, I know it, they came in winter last year in Lindex. And today I still found it discounted. So I thought I was always eyeing this necklace, but never really got it. And it was reduced to 8 euros so I thought why not you know it kind of looks very modern chic I, I think so I like it then I got another gorgeous necklace from Soiko or Koiko I still don't know how to pronounce it and you know I love burgundies <laughs> so it has this burgundy like rope or ribbon rope I guess and those all kind of crystals and it looks so beautiful on very sparkly in the evening so I'm gonna wear it with my wine color blouse that I got in Primark and this like, necklace I think it's really really beautiful and it was I got it with a little bit of a discount so I paid like 13 euro or 15 and then I got a couple of home decor things in Alan Deco store I got this picture frame a very sparkly one and I put a picture of me and a boyfriend in it the light cannot catch how beautiful it sparkles so I just sit it on my desk very cute frame then I got this um, candle holder it's just a silver ho silver holder or tray, I don't know how to call it, and it has a mirror. So we just put a candle like this. And then I got this kind of Christmassy decoration. I don't know what it is. It's like bronze vase with stars, white rose, and it kind of goes with my room, so I thought it's nice. So that's it. That's everything I got and hope you guys enjoyed this 
quite long actually haul and yeah see you soon bye